What happened to it? What has a head but can't think? Boil. <laughs> what happened? I just, you know, just an, an, another one person, another person to add to the list of uh, suspect. Who? Oh. No, we were just all in there grilling Steven. So what had happened? Um, well, because he's like, I want to know why people think I was a mole. I want to know why people think I'm a mole. So everybody's trying to explain it to him. And I said, you know, I said, what I heard, Stephen, is that you were in an alliance. He's like, I ain't talking about that right now. I want to know about that. I'm like, uh, uh, well, I'm trying to fucking tell you, but... And then Weeber's like, I want, I want to hear your point. I want to hear your point. And I said, I, I got my point answered already. I said, my, what I just threw out there, I got it figured out. I said, because he thinks that he's going to fucking um, be um, here one minute. They're the next because now all of a sudden everybody knows and calling him out on it. And now he don't want to be leaving that room. They don't want him in there. OK. Well, here's and now he's trying is. to say that he would he wasn't going to be voting for. Um, he told Brian yesterday that he's voting for Rennie and he promised Rennie the vote. So he is going to not be voting for him. And he told him that that's bullshit. Well, that's unless, unless until we see it. Bull. Shit. No, because I talked to Stephen yesterday. Me and Keisha did. And Stephen, it was me. It was me in April. I think it was. And he asked, "Why didn't you guys include me in all this?" And we said, "Well, the reason that we didn't include and we wanted to tell you was because since the beginning, <clears throat> you said you wanted to play this game by not lying to anybody and keep your promises." And so just the fact that we thought maybe you had promised Brian to, to do something, we didn't want to have to you, you turn your back on that. We already had enough votes. So if we told you, it would have been right before we actually went and did our, and did our votes. So you wouldn't have time to talk to anybody and you could make your own decision as a game player to, to who you wanted to vote for. And he said, I appreciate that because as a matter of fact, the day that we moved into the house, I promised Rennie that I would have her back as far as a vote would be concerned. For the first week? For the first week, because she offered me her bed. Well, the, I, okay, so this is, this is my opinion, and, you know, what we as a, we as, we as a team have to come up with our strategy moving forward. Well, I want him on. Okay. Because he goes like this, he said that, um, come to find out that, um, Stephen was going to go up. Remember, it was supposed to be Stephen in Memphis, and I was trying to convince Jerry to do, put Stephen up because I, obviously I don't want Memphis. Come to find out, Brian said to him, listen, if you don't vote or you don't give me a favor, you're going on the block. So basically is, I'm not going to put you on the block if you do a favor for me. So I'm trying to tell him that, okay, so why would he say, like, for him to not have you do a favor for him right now, like, you obviously... So people want you gone. You probably be gone next week. So he's going to utilize that favor. So that favor being you spying or you doing whatever he asks you to. I said. So in particular, what did Steve? What did Brian ask you to do? And he's like, um, well, he asked me, you know, to vote out, you know, this way. And I don't believe that. I don't buy it. I don't fucking buy it. I don't. You know, I just, I just don't fucking buy, buy it. And, and I didn't even think about him with his bracelet and talking about he doesn't want to lie and stuff like that. And I think it's all bullshit. I do. I, uh... And, and Jerry went in there flipping out, swearing. And Jerry's like, I don't even swear. And I'm fucking pissed at this fucking bullshit. He said, shame on, shame on him the first time, shame on fucking me the second time, and I'm not fucking getting run over by no fucking bus, and he's fucking sick of it. And Brian went in there fucking yell, uh, lying, and then when he lied when? in front of everybody, oh. because a Libra called him out, and he lied in front of everybody, when we were all, went our separate ways after that incident, he went back in there and tried to cover up with Libra, talking about, but why, why would you ask me something like that? I, I don't understand. I never talked to the colonel about it, and the colonel was like, what? So it's like, I don't no, know. No, that didn't, that's, a, that's not how it went down. Yeah, Libra just told me the whole story. No, no, no. That, that's the third time he, no. Oh, he the came third back, time. He came back in there when nobody else was around. 
after we were all sitting in the kitchen. Yeah. This is this is this is what and I told. I, I I heard like there's well, some other shit going on too that I don't know and I need to find out what it is. What do you mean? Something else like something else. Jerry's pissed off about something else. I, I don't know what it is. I got to figure out what it is. He said okay. somebody else that supposedly I I didn't I didn't get who it was yet. But all I know is that he, supposedly there's another person that he's not happy with. Please go to the diary. I don't know who. So I don't know if it, I don't know if it's it's Dan because Dan keeps because I caught Dan again today the second time grilling him asking why he did that to why'd you do that to us why you how could you do that to us so I, I don't know if it's Dan I don't know I, I just I just heard word of it and I said who are they talking about and they were like oh you know we can't disclose that I was like okay I was like you can't disclose that okay they said you, all you gotta do is ask Jerry and I said all right well. Because I, I had to go upstairs to use the restroom because I, I just, I told Jerry, I said, I, I can't, I have to use the restroom and I it wasn't feeling good at all. And I'm like, every single two seconds, somebody's knocking at the door. So I said, can I use the restroom? So I went up to use the restroom and then, you know, Jerry sat down and I was like, you know, and he was just talking to me about all this stuff. So I didn't quite get what the other situation is yet because I didn't even know there was another situation, but I guess there's another situation now. I don't know. This is what I told Ollie in April. The plane is set for the next two weeks. Yeah. Every, if everybody keeps arguing like this, all that's going to happen is that plan is going to derail and other well, things Well, I don't think, I don't think that people are arguing themselves. I think people are just pissed off that uh, people are starting to, like, you know, go this way and go that way. And, and I said to Stephen, I said, Stephen, I said, when when you're, you're sitting outside or, or you know, me personally, I've seen it, and other people have said it. And all you guys are doing is whispering now. You know, I said, kind of is putting you out there because they're thinking that, you know, we know that he's going out in a blaze of glory. It's who is he taking down with him? And he said, well, it's not like I'm doing anything different. I said, yeah, you are doing something different because you guys are friends, and you guys, that's great and fine, and you guys laugh together. I said, but yesterday was not where you guys were laughing together. I said, you guys were whispering and making a lot of people feel like something's up. Do they feel that way about me? Uh, no, I didn't hear anything about you. I didn't, I didn't hear your name come up. But what I'm saying is, is that... That's the reason, with, like, yeah. when we were walking and everything. Yeah, you know, and... Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if... I haven't heard anything about you, but... Here's, here's you, the you thing. You have alliance with him, so I don't know if people are like, hmm, wait a minute. I don't have an alliance no, with him. You know, You're the perceptionist. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of times it's you, Stephen, and Brian. Right. You know. No. And, I, and a lot and of times I, people I, are sitting here going, what are they laughing about? And it's like, nobody understands it. Yeah. You know? So. And that's what the problem is, is that nobody does understand it. But I told... I mean, I, I talked to Ollie in April today, and I go, look, you know... It's just one of those things I go, when you guys were talking to Brian, and we all realized when we were talking to him that, like, I realized when I was talking to him that I was being basically probably, in his mind, like a pawn type thing. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> and that's just, you know, how you have to take the situation and just go with it. But I definitely think that everybody just needs to stop being upset about it because all yeah. it's going to do is cause... Animosity. Yeah, definitely. And you think America loves it? I don't know. Probably not. My grandpa's probably pissed. <laughs> but hey, what's going to figure out what I'm going to do with this? His me. son's the one who brought it back mm, from my, Russia. My so left ear just went numb. Oh. Buzzing. It's buzzing. I don't think I've been this riled in a while. I might dip today just. To just for the hell of it. Maybe hamburger. Yep. Yeah. Just kind of there is a White House. I don't even know how to go about doing that. Fast food chain. <laughs> Hi, America. People I think you should up, dip and have like... a cigarette at the same time. Yeah, oh, totally. Nice. That would be Actually, awesome. New York. Just spit on my boot. Eat, drink some raw eggs. No, no, no. The white, what they call the White House. Uh, uh, white Castle. It's a White Castle. Yeah.